if you're already a district that has like um, a lesson like socioeconomic means, then you're you're kind of uh, you're creating this cycle of just like undernourishing the um, the students academically, and you're creating a cycle where um, you you you're looking at um, trying to think of a better way to say it. You look you're looking at a cycle where kids who didn't have an opportunity growing up have kids who live in the same area and they didn't have an opportunity and it just continues on and on. Whereas if you go, if you live, if you're from an area where your parents went to college or if you're in an area where they have the means to provide more programs in schools, oftentimes you see that um, they're, 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 those, those kids obviously do better. And also, um, it does not really applying to me, but um, a lot of like, rural schools have like, a high Hispanic uh, population and um, those schools can't often provide like, the like, the um the best ESL resources, and I think that's like very very important to sort of like integrate those kids uh, into a school system and make them feel like they belong and like their needs are being met.